and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at a new mod over the Giants Mod Hub called Manual Attach, and this mod is for PC only. But before that, this video is brought to you by Ed Reed. Thank you for being a farm baron. So Manual Attach is a mod that really has players really divided. They either love it or they hate it. And typically players that hate it don't use it. Except if you're on a multiplayer server and you happen to be playing with a bunch of people that love it. And then your life is a living hell. But at any rate, we won't go into that. Manual attach basically removes the queue from within the tractor when you pull up to attach to something. So let's just show you some examples here. We have our front loader arms. And typically we would hit Q at this point to attach those. Not with manual attach. We have to get out of the tractor. Uh, and then we have to hit Q to attach our arms. And then we can get back into the tractor. At that point, we have our front loader arms connected. Now, there's an interesting caveat with respect to front loader implement or tools, like these forks. We can connect the forks from within the cab, and that's basically because we are we're emulating a kind of a quick connect and disconnect concept where we can connect and disconnect our front loader attachments. Now, if we want to remove our front loader arms, we've got to get out of the tractor. And we have to then hit Q to detach. And there you go. Now this extends to trailers and other implements. Like for example, we have the FarmTech slurry spreader. So we're going to back up here and get close to it. We're going to hit Q. And now we have attached the slurry spreader. Now we may not be able to drive off very well. You notice our brake lights do not work. And let's try to turn it on. We can't turn it on. One, because it's empty. And two, because we still haven't connected our PTO. Power takeoff. So that is the yellow thing right down there. We need to connect our PTO by hitting Z. Now it's attached. Great. Now we need to attach our hoses and our power connector. So we're going to hold Z. And now that they are connected, we can get in the tractor. Our lights work. And we may be able to turn it on. Still can't turn it on because, well, dummy, it's empty. At any rate, to disconnect, same general process. Just reverse. Hold Z to disconnect our hoses. Tap Z to disconnect our PTO. And then hit Q to disconnect the trailer. Over here, I've got my pickup truck, and I've got the nice Brockman trailer here, the new Brockman trailer. We connect it the same way. We hit Q. There we go. Now we do have a power connector. We're going to hold Z. Connect that, and that is now connected. We can hop in the truck and drive off with our lights ablazing. We can back up. And we have our reverse lights, as you can see there. Then when we get to our final destination, we just hop out of the trailer truck, truck, pull or tap, yeah, hold Z to get rid of the power connector. Hit Q, disconnect the trailer, hop on in, and off we go, everybody. And that is in essence manual attach like i said it's a mod that has been around for several iterations of farm sim and i know there's some folks that have been saying man i can't wait till manual attach comes out well guess what today's your lucky day manual attach is out it's over to giants mod hub farming simulator.com or the in-game mod hub now it does make use of additional scripts and therefore is pc only if this mod happens to be uploaded to a server, then that would also then break cross-play compatibility. But that is basically the caveat of PC-only mods. So until next time, guys, happy farming.